the most beautiful part about collecting is being able to live alongside such sometimes challenging work, sometimes really beautiful works. And I think that brings a new perspective to your day. Every time you see that piece, you just kind of like see it maybe in a different light or it teaches you something new every time. I'm Fai Kadra and I am a creative director, collector, artist. I think I'm definitely a minimalist at heart. I love artists like Donald Judd, Larry Bell, Carl Andre. With very limited materials and space, they, they can convey such an important message and I think that's really beautiful. It definitely teaches me to be more concise, try to be more clear in everything that I'm doing and I try to keep everything super minimal, have like one strong concept, whether in work or in just my life as well. Some of my favorite artists who've influenced, you know, the way I think about art and who I would hopefully one day love to acquire some art by. Artists like Joseph Boys, Andy Warhol, of course, David Hammonds, Bruce Nauman, Kara Walker. You know, I think it's important to also try to collect work from different eras. So I would love to collect something from the master painters one day. <laughs> Yeah, I think, you know, being born in LA, growing up in London, living in Dubai, traveling around the world, I've definitely been exposed to a lot of different art and artists, and that's helped shape my, my view on art and kind of my taste as well. That was a huge influence on me, and, and as, but I have to say as well, my parents kind of taught me a lot about different artists and new designers. I'm constantly inspired by seeing what artists are, are doing and this has been a very kind of weird time in, in the history of the world and some of the best art, you know, comes out of those, those challenging times. So I'm excited to see how, you know, artists kind of take on that. I feel like also meeting a lot of artists and knowing a lot of artists that are friends of mine, they really push me to, to think about different mediums and think about different types of work. I have a lot of different different ways in which I'm exposed to art and I think galleries is, is a great way I think going to shows is a great way going to um, art fairs is a great way I love watching the the auctions I think meeting all the people that work at Sotheby's are all incredible and I think it's fascinating seeing how a piece of art can really garner so much attention and so much kind of desire to, for people to live with I mean, I just recently bought this um, sterling ruby stalagmite sculpture and have had to cut out a piece of my roof so that it would fit through because it's 19 feet tall. Even just kind of like having to reconfigure parts of my life and home to fit art in is, is something that, you know, I love doing. My goal with this collection and with this sale is really to expose a new audience to art and a new, hopefully younger audience to feel like they can also participate and they can also be a part of this world that I love so much. I really wanted to showcase works that, that I love. There's some great pieces by Gerhard Richter, Joseph Boys, Sol Lewitt, Sue Webster, and yeah, I'm excited for people to see it. Some of these artists are, you know, some of the most influential artists of the 21st century. And I think, you know, they um, have changed the way we view art. They've changed the way we think about art. And even if it's not, you know, a Richter abstract masterpiece, you know, having something that is from that artist that is equally as beautiful and is maybe on a smaller scale is, is just as important. Once you start living with art, you um, kind of get hooked and then it's kind of a snowball effect. Then you just kind of start wanting to collect more and more and it's a unique experience for everybody. But I, what I know everybody says is it definitely gets a little addictive. So, you know, you buy something you weren't planning on buying and you have to cut a hole in your roof. That's always fun. <laughs>